I had the privilege to be in the ClickUp Task 3.0 beta for a while now, and I just got the okay to show you around and make sure you know exactly where to find everything in our new task view in ClickUp 3.0. Let's do it. As many of you probably already have heard, I'm like, we've all been waiting for ClickUp 3.0, right? There has been a ClickUp task beta out there for a while for ClickUp to really get feedback from users. And they specifically often focus on power users, on people that are constantly in ClickUp, on people that are potentially working with clients in ClickUp too. Hence, some of us vetted consultants did get access to the task view 3.0 right in ClickUp to be able to give feedback. And today, today, I did get the okay to finally walk you through how the new task view is going to look like and work right here in your ClickUp 3.0. You ready? Let's go take a look. As you can see, it is still a similar layout that we are used to before. We can still move the comments and the actual task area and resize them how we want it to. Now, one of the big things and why I'm gonna start on the right hand side is you can get different layouts of your task view. A lot of us had asked to get in our task view right here in ClickUp a similar look to Asana, where we can have the task information on the right hand side while we are still working our way through ClickUp. It is possible now. Right up here, you can switch the layout. This is the standard default layout that we are used to. You can have the full screen, meaning anybody that has just as many trouble focusing as me, put it on the full screen view and you can't see what's happening behind it and we might be able to actually focus on getting our work done. And now we also have the sidebar view, which allows you to browse right through ClickUp and all the other things while still having your task open on the right hand side. And if you wanna pull it up again, cool, let's just do it in full screen or again in the default mode you are already used to. With that, let's just stay on the right hand side of this ClickUp 3.0 task view right here. It is really easy to change watches, be the whole, hey, we wanna get notified. No, we don't wanna get notified. I wanna add additional watches, all the things, right? Perfect. We have specific filters right in here and we have our search. Not only that, your standard task settings are now right over here. And if you are running into something and something is wonky or you can't find something in the new layout, you easily can switch back to ClickUp Task 2.0 right in here. Now that you've seen these three different task views, comment below which one is your favorite, the full view, the default view, or the sidebar view? I wanna know, so pop on, I wanna know. Now, the next new thing that you're gonna discover is this menu right here in the middle. The comment section on the right-hand side hasn't changed too much other than the truncation where things are gonna be a little bit more waterfall-like than before. I really have liked it, being able to just clean the comment section up and everything that's happening there. This is also where you can find all of your other relationships, where we can add Google Drive files and other task relations and YouTube videos and link to docs and all the things. And as you can see, there's already things happening in here too. We have the Zoom add-on turned on in here too, so we can easily start a Zoom call right from here. Now that we are through the nitty gritty of all the extra stuff, let's look really close at the actual task section in ClickUp Tasks 3.0, shall we? So let's scroll back up. As you can see right here, the upper menu has changed just a little bit. We have our task ID here, which I am in love with because now I can just click and copy that and it copies it without the hashtag, which funnels right into my asset automation. If you didn't see the video yet, you'll get it at the end. You don't need to run yet. 
I will give it to you at the end where we plug in and where we use this task ID really quick and easy for some amazing automations. You're also going to see more of these task information areas where, okay, this is a high priority and it now pops up right here in your task information section. As you can see, we got the status here, we got the assignee, due dates, estimates. This is where all of your task information is going to be housed. You can expand this section or we can collapse it. That's your standard description handled. It works the exact same way as it has before. And now we are coming to all of the nitty gritty add on stuff in task where all of the magic is happening. We have our custom fields just like we had before. Now we come to some extra fancy. Your subtasks in your task now work like list view. So how about we actually add, I don't know, the video stage to it. Not a stage we necessarily need in here. And if you do not know status versus stages, go check out my video. It's literally called status versus stages. If you are not doing this, you are screwing up your whole clock up. I digress. So with this, you can decide what you can see right here in your subtasks. What is that information that you want? And what is the information that you do not want? Because we hardly ever use priority. So let's kick it out. Uh, do I need the status in here or am I fine just by the coloring of those? That's your choice. We often have comments going on in subtask, especially with content creation. So let's pull that in so I know what comments I might need to answer to you or what is going on. I am seriously in love with this new subtask layout. We got our assigned comments below, same thing being handled just like it did before. One of the things that I have to say though, when going into the attachments, let's just upload something. One of the things that I'm not too happy right now, I have to admit is how the attachment is shown in a nine by 16 rather than a square image. It's a little minor thing. I'm like, to me, it just takes too much space away. Who knows? Maybe it's going to get changed in the future. We'll see about that one. And here's a little pro tip for you that you might not even have seen looking onto this new ClickUp Task View 3.0. You see, you see this right up here. When you open this up and no matter where you are at in your task, you will be able to see your subtasks and the nested subtasks underneath. This is one of my favorite feature next to the subtask layout as we have it right now. So pop in the comment section, what's your favorite thing about the new ClickUp 3.0 task view? I wanna know, pop it, pop it in the comment section. Am I the only one that's totally in love with the new subtask section? I wanna know. And if you're wondering what I was talking about when we use the task ID for an automation, I got a video right here that explains to you how we use the task ID in a specific automation to easily create our easy digital asset management and automate things between ClickUp and Google Drive. If you are a content creator, you want to watch that. I'll see you in the next video.